If a butterfly flutters in the United States of America, a typhoon could occur in China. Do you believe that a butterfly flutter in the USA could cause a tornado in China? Don't be surprised. Anything is possible in this world. This may seem a bit exaggerated. But it makes sense if you follow the video. And even more so we live it every day. Today in this video I will explain to you the theory of butterfly effect. And I'm going to give you several examples of it from history. And even the present day. Before we start, don't forget to like the video. Also if you are a new follower don't forget to subscribe to the channel until you receive any new video. Hello friends. The butterfly effect theory begins with the boundaries where traditional science has stopped. When he reaches it, he can't. Since science began to solve the gas, this great universe has always suffered from one thing, the unexpected and the surprising. For example, have you ever seen it before in the newscast and exactly in the weather forecast section? They said Monday would be sunny. So when Monday came, it was raining. Of course, this happened hundreds and hundreds of times, so the butterfly effect theory is the cause. Because of this theory, and to this day and despite the tremendous development that man has reached in all sciences. However, he cannot predict the weather situation with 100% accuracy. Of course this is an example. Edward Lorenz, is a meteorologist, and also an atmospheric forecaster and mathematician. This person was trying to come up with an equation that would enable him to predict weather conditions. When will the hurricane form, when will it happen, where will it go and so on, and indeed the man has started to do so. After several attempts, the man arrived at equations. He wanted to apply them on the ground. And try to predict the weather. Depending on the equations he came up with. But my friend the result was shocking. He saw that his expectations were all wrong. Expecting something to happen is the opposite of what he expected. Everything that happened was completely different from his equations. He thought that maybe the equations were wrong. But it seemed to him everything was right. So where is the mistake, I wonder? Where's the mistake? Where's the mistake? It didn't make sense to him, so he thought a lot until he came up with this strange theory. And logical and correct at the same time. This theory simply says that things are very, very small. Big things may happen and even at the level of the entire universe and it is just like the dominoes of the piece fall the other and sometimes the effect is not direct maybe the effect appears after 10 years after 100 years and therefore with small things it has a big one in the end. The butterfly effect theory is not only used in physics. It is used in many areas of life, and we even live it every day. For example, economics takes the theory of butterfly effect. Any small change in any is a reason for the rise in stocks and the increase in prices, such as a demonstration, a military coup in a country, or even the emergence of a scandal for a company. I will give you a simple example to understand more. Imagine with me that a knight carries with him a message. And this letter he wants to send to the king. The content of the letter is as follows, His Majesty the King. Tomorrow the enemies will attack the castle. Prepare. This is the message that is with the knight. Well while the knight on the horse is going towards the castle. Suddenly he was bitten by a mosquito. And that mosquito carries malaria. The knight contracted malaria and fever on his way to the castle. Because of malaria and fever, the knight died on the way. Since the knight died, the message will not reach the owner. Since the message will not reach the king, the owner does not know about the attack of the enemies. If the kingdom or the castle will not be ready, then the enemies will attack the castle and destroy it. Have you seen because of a small mosquito that bring the knight? A kingdom and a castle were destroyed. Let me give you another example. Imagine with me if you were in a kindergarten for young children. And there was a small child who painted a certain painting with scribbles in it. 
and when he finished painting he came to you and asked you. Uncle look at this painting is it beautiful? Did you like it? So I saw the painting even though it wasn't beautiful. But you told him that yes it's great. Liked. It looks like he'll be a great painter in the future. Just this sentence. You will be a great painter in the future. When the child heard it, it was stored in his memory and etched in his memory. And I felt him very happy. He started painting every day. It became the dream of this child to be a painter. As the days went by, the child became the best painter in his city, and with the passage of years, this child became the most famous painter in the world. But where did it start? I started from that little word that I told him in which you will be a wonderful painter in the future. You should know that every action, even if it is simple, will be dragged behind by something great. Do not despise any work, even if it is trivial and simple, even if it is planting a small seedling. If the butterfly can cause a tornado in China, so what can you human be millions of times better than this butterfly?